So, what an interesting turn of events. <laughs> you know how it's funny when I said that 11-9 was going to be significant. Well, it definitely was significant. Um, Hurricane Nicole came through. Hurricane Jillian came through. And you can't have two hurricanes going together. So one needed to be given a little bit of prompting to calm the fuck down. <laughs> and so, yeah. Yeah. So truth passes through. Truth passes through three stages. And this is from Arnold Schopenhauer, the German philosopher. One said that all truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, it is, it is accepted as self-evident. And that's true because all truth is a fact at the time the energy of that truth is supported. And so, anything that somebody thinks of or does is completely relevant and completely, I'm just relevant, but it has happened. It may not have happened or is happening right now, but it has happened in a different time, in a different frequency. And it is not something that really needs to be resisted as far as, the information but it needs to be understood that even though you don't see it and you don't experience it it doesn't mean it's not happening or has happened or will happen whatever it is okay facts are facts truth is like truth is anything that you can that you can think of and support with physics biology and chemistry math and English and then you can also write, obviously, put words together. So little did I know that 11-9 was to be so significant for me as an ending of an old world and a beginning of a new world. And so it's interesting how I was connected to, like, my personal page was connected to the Exposed and the Lies, which was the birth of the whole JJ world. I mean, that was the birth. That was where everything started. That was all the controversy. And then that controversy then turned into the evolution, which was the Jilly Juice page. Well, the Jilly Juice page is still up, of course, because it's not connected to my old account. However, however, I, the, my old account, Jilly Juice, I can't get into it for whatever reason. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly what happened. All I could say is, well, all I could say is the powers that be, whatever that is, decided that it's time now to put out a different voice with not so much of a following because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Okay, there is already a lot of stuff going on. And so... But why would they shut your voice down and not other people's voices? Because they're saying stuff that's really controversial. Because here's the thing. I was actually agreeing that certain things in different frequencies are appropriate. Certain therapies are appropriate in certain frequencies. In a low frequency environment, fertility is great. Because you can manage that growth and evolve it and innovate it and do whatever. In a high frequency environment, fertility is deadly. And so when growth happens at an exponential level in a high frequency environment, then it's hard to get, get ahead of that growth and redirect it and do what you have to do to prolong someone's life. And so both sides, you know, of any kind of argument, as far as the therapeutics out there that are controversial, they're both correct and they're both relative to the frequencies of the internal environment and the external environment. And that's what people have to realize is that your internal environment, the frequencies within your internal environment is all predicated on what you do throughout your whole life, what you were born with, and then how you redirect. And so if there's a universal 
type of therapeutic frequency that is being administered, then each individual person must understand the kind of frequencies they hold within and figure out if that frequency is going to be appropriate. But people don't really look at their world like that. They, they just go to their doctor and say, hey, doctor, should I do this or that or that? And so at this point, <laughs> at this point, it's going to be a, too late for a lot of people who hold so much frequency within and have bought into the fact that they need more frequency within their body and they don't know how to release it and also retain um, substance to handle the frequency. I mean, it's all about frequency, energy, retain energy, released. It, that's basically what it's all about is frequency. And so, and so, and so I realized that everybody is relative to their internal frequency environment and their external frequency environment. So fertility can give life and fertility can take away life. You must know what that what was used to, to work therapeutically in a low frequency environment will have a very different outcome in a higher frequency environment. And so we're in the middle of a major, major awakening. And yesterday's frequencies were so intense that my Hydra were wearing their ugly head and even and yes, very angry, as well as I should have been, as well as I should have, have been. And that was the pinnacle. That was the tipping point yesterday. I had a storm in my head and a hurricane Nicole was wrapping up her energy, ramping up her energy, and she's going to do some devastation. And that's seriously what's going on. And so it's no coincidence that I'm now starting over again, but not really. I'm just reinventing how I'm going to communicate and realize that I finally reached a point in the JJ world where I figured out the, the whole world and what's going on. And so those who oppose me will figure out whatever they must figure out because I was actually correct. But I had to take a different environment to, but it had to take a different environment to prove it. The world that you came from was correct and you were already in the, in the proof, but it is now slowly going to dissolve. And you'll realize that the environment has everything to do with you proving somebody's theories. So frequency and energy is everything and they will make you or break you. And if you don't understand how frequency and energy impact a biological system and how it also impacts promoting fertility to give you life, the promotion of fertility can also take away life if you don't understand how to manage the energy in your body. And I got to correct that. And that's literally what's going on is the high frequencies are taking away people's lives because of the amount of freak, because the amount of fertility that's going on. Uh, take, take, if you don't understand how to manage the energy and your body, energy in your body, because all about Hydra, Hydra are the single cell microbes that are, that evolve and they become diverse. And so then when the single cell microbes, the amoebas, the amino acids, right? And they're part of a string of amino acids and it becomes a DNA, a chromosome. And then that DNA chromosome turns into a single cell or well, it turns into a type of entity like a hydra, that hydra evolves and it galvanizes other components from the universe and then develops its own ecosystem like plasma, like water, that water, then attracts and conducts energy that energy then the positive and negatives bring together life conception and so that's how you get 39 trillion microbes in your body that are the germline cells okay and then you have 30 trillion somatic cells that are the infrastructure that support and then you can program them to be whatever it needs to be for that environment and so um and so we're in a we're in the middle of a major, major awakening. And yesterday's frequencies were so intense that my Hydra were rearing their ugly head. And yes, very angry as well as I should have been. And that was the pinnacle. That was the tipping point yesterday. I had a storm in my head and a hurricane and Hurricane Nicole was ramping up her energy and she's going to do and she will be doing some devastation. And she is going to do some devastation. 
And so it's no coincidence that I'm now starting over again, but not really. I'm just reinventing how I'm going, how I am going to communicate and realize that I finally reached a point in the JJ world where I figured out the whole world and what's going on. So, those who oppose, those who oppose me, whether it was a couple years ago, even currently, or whatever, will figure out what they must figure out. Because I was actually correct. But it had to take a different environment to prove it. The world that you came from was and is correct. And you were already in the proof. But it is now slowly going to dissolve and you'll realize that the environment has everything to do with proving somebody's theories. And so I was actually kind of ahead of my time because I realized that yes, indefinite life is possible, but you have to manage that energy according to the environment and the food supply that's available to you. And the medical holistic system was great for a low frequency environment, but when you change the environment, the medical holistic system is going to work against you because of the amount of fertility that is, that is uh, going to happen. And so frequency and energy is everything. And they will make you or break you. And if you don't understand how frequency and energy impact a biological system and how it also impacts promoting fertility to give you life, but promotion of fertility can also take away life if you don't understand how to manage the energy in your body. And so as I wrap up my book and I figure out how, and I figure out how I will say all of this in such a way that will stand the test of time, all of you 19 or 30, <laughs> whatever, whatever, out of 4,000 <laughs> Or is on my other account. You have a chance to see what was not seen before. Of course, my website will be updated as soon as I get this book figured out. And I have a new business page. But I will but I but I will leave that the way it is for right now until I get everything put together. But I figured I'll give you guys my voice right now. And so I have to speak all this stuff, so I'm using the Facebook Live to speak this stuff. But now, since I have all that baggage of the Exposing the Lies world gone, I have the baggage of my old account completely gone. Now it's like a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. And so, yeah, yesterday was poignant. And I don't, and it's funny, I don't feel like I felt when I lost my account a couple years ago. I really don't, I don't feel the same way. I actually feel really, I actually last night when I figured out that I couldn't get into it, I was like, you know what, fuck it. You know what, whatever, I don't even care. So, then I'm just like, okay, whatever. And so then I'm like, okay, time to start over again. Let's, let's do this again and we'll keep doing it until we get it right. And so, all right, that's all I got to say. Write in my book. That hasn't changed. <laughs> all right, bye.